Good evening, Augusta Nation, and happy mowing season. We got mowing today. It is March 1st, and it is the first day of our mowing season. So the team went out there, got to run the mowers for the first time of the year. And even though here in Augusta, Georgia, our warm season grass is not quite actively growing yet, you know, so unless you have uh, overseeded rye, uh, there's not really much grass to, to mow, but the mowers haven't been on the property since the second week of November for all of our recurring clients. So we're just going out there, uh, you know, putting some lines in the yards and, and getting everything started. Now we could tell people that the vibrations in the first mow of March warm up the grass for further growth, but that is not the case. We just need to get out there and to get started. Um, you know, but in all seriousness, the uh, the yards that aren't treated, uh, you know, have you know have definitely have growth, especially with the warm weather we've had, a very mild winter, and you know, we've had temperatures in the 80 degrees already uh, last week, this week, and so if that continues, you know, the, the actual warm season grass will warm up uh, earlier. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, would not mind you know, uh, a shorter winter. You know, if spring wants to happen in February, I am all good with it. So, getting out there mowing, uh, one of the one of the bigger changes this year is we've got solo mow crews. So, everybody that doesn't know, we operate on budgeted hours and pay for performance, not hourly wages. So, the single mow crews are able to knock out more budgeted hours than a double mow crew, just more efficient. And this year we also separated our services. So the guys going out there, last year we ran in groups of two um, and for our recurring services that a client got mowing and then we had a service called bed maintenance or it's called bed and shrub maintenance, which included uh, eliminating weeds in beds and natural areas. Uh, as well as trimming the shrubs and we would service the shrubs bi-weekly or you know or weekly depending on what the what the mow account was so we separated that out and so now we've got shrub maintenance which is just the trimming of the shrubs eliminating volunteers and vines growing inside of shrubs we'll do that once a month and that starts in may so that'd be may through um, november and so that's the shrub maintenance and that will be a separate team so the folks mowing will be doing the mowing and the bed weeding that's it they won't, they won't have to carry shrub uh, they won't have to carry hedge trimmers they won't have the debris it, it will be uh, real streamlined so they'll go out there and actually be able to attack more budget hours because of the focus on the specificity of services they're only doing two services so you got the trucks all set up jeremy and the team they set everything up for efficiency uh, so we've got standardizations on every single truck uh, going out and so we're, we're set up for success I think I heard we're, we'll we'll get what the record is this year as far as the mow crews but just today uh, I think a, a team member I think it was Matthew went out there and he had nine budget hours knocked it out in seven so just a roundabout uh, what is it? I don't have my calculator. I think it's $24.75 is our labor rate uh, that the team will be getting paid on is $75 an hour. And then we ch we have a billable hourly rate of 80. So that for one where that extra five goes, that is to overhead recovery. And um, that works out pretty well. So, oh, gotcha. Uh, sorry. Uh, guy was trying to get through but um but yeah that works out pretty well so 24.75 and so at nine budgeted hours so that 180 216 so yeah, he made like 220 bucks i think uh in seven hours so i think he, he might have might have knocked out about 30 dollars an hour um today which that's really great so excited to see what the what the record's gonna be with mowing, but that was some of the big changes um, that we've made. Um, 
and then we also if you've listened to the videos uh recently we sold the treatment division so we are super laser focused on being able to grow our mowing service that's our base you know bed weeding shrub trimming and then for our landscaping it is pretty narrow you know we'll do small side jobs we will do plant installs mulch pine straw uh, rock beds and property cleanups are the the base i think the the, the most popular service for our project team. So we'll have that going on. And then what else what was the change that we made that was different? Um, man, there was another one. I forget what it was. So, um, but yeah, we've got that going on going into the season. Oh yeah, we had made a change of as far as mowing. So I don't go out to do mow estimates anymore. We switched over to uh, a matrix uh, based on square footage. And you know, if, if we can't see it via satellite or if, you know, um, for whatever reason it doesn't work out, uh, I go out and look at it. But my main days now, uh, like this week we had about 70 estimates on the, on the board for me. Um, so, you know, around 15 a day, 10 to 15 a day. But those estimates now, unlike last year, uh, where I had a bunch of mo estimates to do are mainly like uh, property cleanups, landscape installs, mulch, things of that nature, and meeting with customers. So that's awesome because last year I can remember, you know, having up to 25, 30 estimates in a day at, at the high end, and most of those were mows. And then you sprinkle in some timed estimates, and it, it, it kind of it becomes kind of um, a rush job. And I I would much prefer, you know, if I'm going to be meeting with somebody. Um, to be able to take my time, you know, be able to use my personality and, and uh, to, to sell, because uh, that's what I really like to do. And so being able to just go there for higher ticket items and have the mowing automated is gonna be sweet. So looking forward to that. And Command Center is uh, taking over um, even more of our, off our administrative plates, like emails, uh, invoicing, and uh, part of our payroll and uh, what else? I think that's, uh, I think that's about it. Um, and they'll on you know put our estimates on there and, and handle some scheduling aspects. So looking forward to this year. Gonna be some great growth, some great profit. So I hope everyone has a great start of the mowing season. And for those of y'all that are still under snow, enjoy the rest of that. And hopefully that grass will, will get growing sooner than later. But I appreciate everyone that takes their time and listens to the channel. Hope everyone has a great season and we will talk to you tomorrow.